It's Trotsky McGillicuddy's Kumo Random Review. Hey everybody, it's Drewski McGillicuddy and we came to a Kumo Asian Fusion in the town that I grew up in. It used to be an old pizza hut and now it's an Asian Fusion place and we was just talking about maybe wanting to try this. We didn't know what the hell we were ordering uh, and they brought it out to us and look at this shit. This is absolutely insane. What am I supposed to do with that? Let's get a little umbrella on it. Like, have you ever seen a presentation like this before? I'm gonna burn my eyebrows off. Uh, but yeah, we haven't ordered anything else yet. We don't even know what, what was this called? The Mary Roll? Yeah. It's called a Mary Roll. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be fancy real quick. Oh, I was gonna get a little bit of wasabi. Oh no, oh no. I gotta get a little bit of wasabi on there. It's not shrimp tempura, but it's different. Thank you so much. I don't know. All right, well, you don't, don't, don't tell me to hurry up, okay? Uh, just, uh, I'll, I'll let you know after I've had time to think about it, okay? Really bad. Okay, so the longer I thought about it, the more I did enjoy the flavor of the, what was it called, the Mary Roll? Uh -huh. It was like tuna, avocado, a cucumber, wrapped in an eel with some eel sauce. Uh, but uh, I forgot to start making this video when I had my first Japanese beer, which was the, the Saprio, what was it called? Here, I'll find a picture of it and post it right there. I don't know where the frame is. I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at the secretary's filming. But I just ordered me one of these. It's called a... What's it called? Asahi. Asahi. Asahi is, is Japanese. Let's see. Uh, should I pour it in a glass? Let's see what it looks like. See, that's how you pour beer, ladies and gentlemen. Just tastes like regular old American beer. I was hoping, actually, mm. spoke too soon. Isn't that weird how s things, certain things have like a, a familiar taste and then it's got like that aftertaste that changes everything. That's kind of, kind of what happened. Apparently there's something going on behind me. I can't wait to see what our appetizers look like. We've got some crab ragoon, and if they brought our first thing out looking like the, the, the thing it looked like, I can't wait to see what the appetizers look like. Okay, to be continued. To be continued. We'll eat one. Look how fancy those are. Are you going to eat one? I figure since those are yours, you can eat one and tell the people, do they do they win best crab ragoon you've ever had in your life? Hurry up, the people are waiting. You talk about me being long-winded, you take forever to put it, just put it in your mouth and eat it. What the fuck? This is beef kemiyaki, kemiyaki, I have, I have no idea what this is, but it says something about beef and it was $10 for an, an appetizer and there was only, there's only a little bit. So let's see, is that how much it said it was? I wasn't I don't paying remember. attention, don't worry about it. different because it's beef and it's got shallots or whatever what do you call it scallions mm -hmm. I'm not sure what it's wrapped in but yeah it's definitely different and we're gonna talk more about that crab ragoon y'all saw earlier here at the end of the video because I got a lot more to say about that crab ragoon but this 
it's different. I'm gonna have to think about this as well because that other that sushi roll we got. At first, I was like, I don't know about this, but then the more I ate it, the more I liked it. Maybe. I don't know, we'll have to get the secretary's opinion. Maybe she'll taste some and tell you afterwards. I just want you to see what it looks like so you know what I'm talking about later when I say uh, beef kimishinaki. Whatever. This beef stuff right here. Right, right. We've got all of them myself. You know you're fancy napkin. You know you're fancy dining when you got a fancy cloth napkin. <laughs> Okay, so I, I have no idea what's even going on here, but we're having a party apparently. You know I'm gonna have to try that. I wonder if they'll let us take that home with us. No. I mean, just look at. Have you ever seen such a presentation in your life? This Isn't is beautiful. And need I remind you, this is in like a little like subdivision type township that has like a McDonald's, a Wendy's, a Taco Bell, an Arby's, and a Chipotle. And then there's this place, and that's all they have. And a Wild Mike's, but the Wild Mike's has kind of gone downhill. Am I in the frame? Your face is. Okay, good. Now look at this. They brought my food out on a shovel. Damien Reaper, are you watching this? They brought my food out on a shovel. Uh, I don't know what this is, but it's, uh, it's Pad Thai, whatever that is. She asked me how hot I like stuff. On a scale of 1 to 10, I lied to her and told her a 5 because I didn't trust her. So, uh, I'm going to get me a bite of this. Sarah's going to get her a bite of that. Yeah, I'd like to eat sometime tonight. I'm hot. Is that one? Have I never had Thai food before? Apparently not. Oh, my God. We're going to have to bring the boys here. Can I try mine now? Here. Put it in your mouth. Like, I don't want to try and it. eat it. Hurry up. You don't want to try it on camera? No. I just want you to look here. I'll watch you through the trees. So I'm all awkward using the chopsticks. Hey, everybody, look. I shut up your cleavage. Why? Why would just you hurry do up that? and put it in your mouth. What is I that? What is wrapped it. around it? Is it crab meat? Yeah. Anyway, hurry up. There's little fl fancy things over here. That makes me happy. Like, that makes me really happy. Like, and, the, and then they had the cloth napkins. I told you that, right? Mm -hmm. All right, hurry up. Yeah. Wow. That way we can get back to eating without being, you know, interrupted. But yeah, it's on a shovel, everybody. A shovel. Is it good? Should I try mm -hmm. it? I think I'm going to try it. Here, throw me a little bit of uh, wasabi on there. I'm tearing up my landscaping. All right, well, at least there's no fire over here. I caught myself on fire earlier, everybody. That's actually better. Oops, sorry. Damn, that's better than the Mary Roll. That might be better than anything I ever had at the uh, other sushi place we go to called Fuchsia Bowl. Which, uh leads me that that might be the best sushi I've ever tasted. Uh, but we're going to tell you more about these crab ragoons after I eat my pad thai. So if you don't mind, I'm trying to eat here, all right? I'm looking an asshole. Oh my God, you guys. I almost forgot to do this. Uh, we was telling the lady how great this place was. Not to spoil my review, but uh, before we had a chance to do anything else, she brought us out some fancy uh i'm not sure what it is but it tastes like strawberry shortcake and it is probably gonna kill me because i got diabetes but i'm gonna eat it anyway okay uh let me finish up my dessert and we're gonna go outside we're gonna talk about this place because i got some stuff to say like i wasn't even gonna make a video today because i got shit i gotta do and now i gotta put that aside <laughs> so that i can tell you people about kumo asian fusion bar and grill in Delhi of all places all right hopefully I remember to flip this back around the other way here kind of kind of lean this way into the frame uh, holy shit everybody uh, we went here on a whim we were supposed to go to Outback Steakhouse because we're going to meet with a gentleman 
that uh don't actually don't worry about it if i if i if i decide to tell you people about where i went today then i'll tell you people about where i went today but we were gonna meet him at outback steakhouse have ourselves a steak dinner and discuss business and it turns out it was raining like a motherfucker so he was like i don't want to go to outback steakhouse all of a sudden uh, just come over to my house. So we were on his way to his house. I was like, I'm hungry. I got diabetes. I need to go eat something. We were going to go to Wild Mike's. Get some chicken wings. Wednesday. But the last couple times I went to Wild Mike's, which used to be the best wing place in Cincinnati, uh, it was kind of uh, disappointing. Uh, so 35-minute wait, I was like, no, I'm hungry now. Let's, uh, let's, let's go try this uh, Arby's. And then I was like, no, I don't want no Arby's. And I was like, hold on. There's this Asian fusion place that just opened up in Delhi. Four years ago. That's how long this place has been here. And I've been meaning to come here for four years. I walked in the place. My jaw hit the floor. I was like, what the fuck? Where are we? Because, you know, we're in this podunk town. Delhi's this podunk town. Like, there's nothing to do here. There's they literally call it nothing Del to do. Hole because it's like it's, it's 30 minutes hole. from everywhere. Yeah, there's no easy uh, way to get into or out of Delhi. There's Delhi. nothing to do here. We used to have a sports of all sorts or funky dunks that had like indoor batting cages and arcade. But that thing's been out of business for years. Half the stuff in this fucking town is out of business. Uh, and the place that we went to used to be a Pizza Hut. And then it was an Asian place. And then it was a Chinese place. And then it was another. I it was Mexican. It kept going back and forth between Asian and Mexican. Well, now it's an Asian fusion, and they've been here for four years, and I'll tell you why they've been here for four years. Because they are fucking amazing. This might be the best restaurant I've ever fucking been to. The oh. fucking decor inside. I took a little video of it, but the video does not do it justice. Plus, I was just rushing around, just like I rush all my fucking videos. That's what I do. I rush through things because I'm in fucking patient. But God damn it. They, we, we ordered this roll, and it was the Mary roll, and it came out. I took one bite, and I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. And then the more I ate at it, the more I was like, wow, that's just a unique flavor that I'm not used to. And the more I taste it, the better it tastes. And then we ordered a crab ragoon. That crab ragoon, I shit you not, was the best crab ragoon I've ever fucking tasted. And she and, told us the secret, but we're not going to tell Yeah, we're not going to tell you the secret. And it, it wasn't like they put anything in it. It was uh, something that the they... Preparation. Yeah, the preparation. Basically the preparation. Basically the preparation, yeah. Uh, not to mention the uh, presentation. Flawless fucking victory. Jesus Christ. I mean, you saw... You saw... Like, when they brought that shit out flaming, I'm like, where the hell are we? Like, I, I just kept... Like, we are in fucking Delhi. I want everybody to Google Delhi. And just look around on the map at this shithole little fucking town that I grew up in. Because it is a fucking shithole little town. And it does not deserve to have a fucking place like this. Now, uh, the Kimiyashi or whatever I got. It was uh, beef rolled up with sh uh, scallops. Or not scallops. Scallions and uh, some other kind of green substance, and whatever the green substance that was kale, it, it was kale. I don't know. It had to be know. kale because whatever it was uh, ruined the entire thing because it sounded good on the menu, and it's not that it wasn't good. If somebody was into that sort of thing, yeah, they would have definitely liked it. But for me, it was the only thing that I got at the restaurant that wasn't, you know, whatever. But it's not their fault that I didn't like the flavor because I'm sure if my palate would have would have liked it, it would have been amazing. Does that make any fucking sense? I don't know. I'm not a professional fucking food critic. Anyway, then they brought my shit out on a shovel, okay? They brought my shit out on a shovel. I got the fucking chicken pad thai. I got a, a spice level of five because I was scared. I didn't trust the lady. She looks suspicious. Um, absolutely fucking amazing. I have never had Pat Thai, and I would definitely be getting it again, like, because I kept saying, well, I've had lo mein. She's like, it's not the same. She's like, no, 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 you get the Pat Thai, blah, 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 blah. And the lady was very friendly. Uh, and then we sat there bullshitting for 10 minutes about how amazing this place was. And then Sarah, what was your uh, roll you got with the fancy lighting? Mine was a Cooper roll. A Cooper roll. Motherfucker. This might be the best sushi I've ever fucking tasted. Like, I like... You know, the other one was okay. I've had sushi at the Kroger's. I've had sushi at Fuchsia Bowl. Sushi here, sushi there. This, 
I don't even know what the hell was in it that made it taste so good. I mean, it was better than shrimp tempura, which shrimp tempura has always been the well, top of the line. Well, it had shrimp tempura in it, and it had crab meat. I think what you liked about it was the so There was a crunch to it, too. Well, that was that was the tempura, was, was okay. the crunch. But no, it had um, spicy mayonnaise and eel sauce. I think the combo of those two flavors is what really really kind of makes me want to try eel see what the fuck that's all about but anyway uh i, I want to make a long story short basically if you are in the vicinity of the cincinnati area there is a little uh township called delhi where you should never go uh except for except if you're for gonna here. go try kumo asian fusion because uh five out of five ten out of ten however Whatever perfect scores I can give it, this place is getting a it fucking perfect, 11. flawless fucking victory. Uh, I'm blown the fuck away. I, I don't think you can under... I, I, I can't stress enough. I'm overwhelmed. It's overwhelming. Like uh, the, the amount of shit we've been through in the past couple months and the amount of shit I've had to put up with going to all these other restaurants that aren't Kumo that fucking suck. Every restaurant fucking sucks. The past couple times I've been to steakhouses, the fucking steak hasn't been up to snuff. The fucking broccoli is always too tough. It's like, how hard is it to fucking cook the... broccoli, asshole? But yeah, everywhere I go is a fucking disappointment. It's fucking refreshing to come to a place that you expected to be some random ass fucking hole in the wall Asian place and it ended up being one of the fucking if not the best restaurant you've ever been to. So yeah, if you're ever <laughs> within the vicinity, if you're at least, I would drive an hour out of my way to go to this fucking place. Yes. So if you're yeah. in like Northern Kentucky, uh, Eastern Indiana, uh, Western Tennessee, fucking bring your fucking ass to Delhi and get you some Kumo. We got some chicken. Oh, we better get those over. Cause uh, we were supposed to get yeah. some chicken wings for my, my buddy. And, uh, it was too long of a wait. They just happened to sell chicken wings up in this motherfucker. So I might have to tell them, hey, I'm going to need one of them motherfuckers. Sure. Anyway, make sure you click the like button. If you've liked uh, listening to me try to talk over this fucking raid. There's another thing, motherfucker. We're going to have to do a fucking rant video about this motherfucking raid. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments section down below. And then I said, make sure you like the video. It'll let me know that I'm not wasting my time. And subscribe. Uh, for more random nonsense, because you never know what's going to come up next. Hey. I fuck you in the butt. I fuck you today. Fuck you, big boy. I fuck your mother. I know okay. I fuck your mother. You lie to me. Fuck I... your whole family, okay? No, your whole ancestor. I fuck your grandmother. And your whole, uh, your, uh, your everybody in your house, okay? No, your, whole, I, your, uh, your whole generation, you fuck fuck guy. I hit you. Uh, fuck all the Vietnamese, okay? No, what the hell? What do you say to me? I, I kill you. I don't care. I kill you. I kill you right now. Kill me. I'm right here. Kill me. Okay, okay? I come with two chopsticks. I, I shove up your ass.